Very difficult to gauge the water's depth. During severe thunderstorms, it's not uncommon for lines to go out across town, but for the city of College Station, it's not as complicated as it used to be. His story is Clay Falls shows us how the city's street lights are getting smarter. They constantly surround us with that orange glow of light as we drive and walk around College Station, but these street lights are more than just metal and light bulbs. Green is good, yes. In the past year and a half, more than 5,200 of the city's road and residential lights have been tied into the Rome street light monitoring system at a cost of about $400,000. The system uh, works, works great for us. Uh, it's uh, very reliable. It's also very uh, accurate. Uh, lets us know when a light is out. Usually we know by the next day if a light if a light's malfunctioning and uh, gives us a location and uh, also gives us quite a bit of data to, uh, to troubleshoot. CSU electrical supervisor Matt Marek can control the city's vast network of lights with a click of a mouse. We're sitting at 98.94 percent fully operational. During our behind-the-scenes tour only 20 lights were not working. The street light monitoring system is already saving the city around sixty thousand dollars a year in maintenance costs and is expected to pay for itself in less than five years. CSU Assistant Director Timothy Crabb tells us gone are the days of customers having to call in to report a broken light. Usually they were mad by the time they called in. City workers no longer have to drive around at night on overtime pay to inspect the lights and they can also dim and do other features to save more money in the future. We could even do stuff like turn off every other thoroughfare light after midnight and leave them off till four o'clock in the morning for additional savings. Those are things we're looking at in the future. A bright future most of us were probably in the dark knowing about. In College Station, Clay Falls, News 3. And the program is also saving the city around 300,000 kilowatt hours of electricity a year by keeping the street lights on the same schedule. The city of Austin is implementing the same system while Weatherford, just west of Fort Worth, is exploring installing it. Two Burleson